All right, this video will cover how to use the different tools within Screencastify while you're recording. So um, once you hit record, you'll see some tools down here. Um, the first thing I want to go over is the cursor options. Um, this um, button is pretty self-explanatory. When you click it as an option, it will hide the cursor when it's not moved. So notice what happens if I leave my cursor here, it disappears because it's, it's checked. If I was to uncheck that, the cursor stays visible. So it's just really something to um, use for your own preferences, especially if you're presenting and you don't want the cursor to become distracting to your students. Um, the other option for your cursor is this um, focus mouse. So if I want to draw my attention, instead of just using the normal cursor to say, hey guys, I want you to click on background here. Uh, Cause the background's pretty small and it's up in the top part of the screen. If I wanna draw my students attention to that, I can go to the cursor, select this, and it will gray out everything else except my cursor, and it, I can more easily uh, draw my students' attention to exactly what I want them to see. Um, so I'm going to turn that off, so you have to turn it back off manually. The next tool is the pen option. When you click on the pen option, you'll be given a spectrum of colors from which to choose from. So if I want to check something, I did this screencast, and then I did this screencast, and then I'm working on this one right now, it's in progress. Um, so I can really um, annotate things as I'm presenting, draw students' attention. If I make a mistake, um, the eraser is what I would select next. And once I click on the eraser, I have a little um, eraser tool and I can delete things manually. Or if I want to clear the entire screen, I would click on eraser and then on the white screen clear option, which will clear all of my annotations. Lastly, um, while I'm recording, if I want to stop, then I can stop my recording. Um, if I click pause recording right now, um, obviously it won't record anything that I'm saying. So imagine that if I've clicked pause, um, I'll then this pause button will turn into a play button to resume. Um, and then there will also be a stop button, a square next to this one that will end your recording. And then there will be like a little curved arrow for refresh. And that means restart your recording. Um, so I know you can't see those buttons right now, but um, when you try it on your own, you'll see that you'll have, a. if you hit pause, it'll say play, stop, and then um, restart. And note that if you click on restart, it'll clear everything you've already recorded and restart it from the very beginning. Um, and those are all the basic tools that you need to know about in Screencastify.